showdown time. You lose. Seems to be in a bit of trouble. Something like that. Dead. Someone hit him. Hard. Me? Please. The cops should be here any minute now. I'm in your hands. Should it come to that? April 20th, 9.37 a.m. District Court. Defendant lobby number 3. Panicked, palms sweaty. I can admit it, I'm nervous. Ah, oh, good morning. G good morning, sir. You look tense, Justice. Wound up tight? Wound up, sir? No, I'm loose, I'm fine. That screeching noise, is that your voice? Is, is, I suppose it's to be expected. The first trial, and it's a homicide, I guess. Justice doesn't sound small, eh? I'm fine. I got up at 5 a.m. to do my chores of steel voice workout. I'm fine. Ah, oh, that explains it. I d did detect a certain rasping quality to your screech. <clears throat> I did it again. As you know, your client today is a good friend of mine. I wouldn't want to let him down. If you get my drift. Drift gotten, sir. I'm all over that drift. As it happens, I dined with him at night of murder. We can't let this case fall through. Yes, yes, I'm fine, sir. One more thing. Don't say you're fine quite so much. People might take you the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I'll be preparing a case. You might want to introduce yourself to a client. My name is Apollo Justice. If it isn't clear already, I'm a new attorney. And today is my first trial. Not that I'm worried or anything. The defendant has been accused of murder. My boss wants to help him out, of course. And so do I. I mean, there's no way he did it. Not him. No way. Whoa. Good uh, morning. Morning. It's all up to you today. First trial, nervous, meeting him. Karatic arrest. I think I'm supposed to say something. Uh, help? So, you're... Fine, I'm fine. Aw, oh, Mr. Fine, is it? Uh, I did remember you having an odd name. Well, we're off to great start. Um, are you sure you're okay? I mean, with me? Mr. Gavin is a top-notch defense attorney. And he's your friend, so why? You'll see. Uh? You can- you can do it, be confident. Um, I- I'm really sorry this happened to you. I mean- I mean, I- It's time, shall we? Yes, sir! <coughs> okay, I need to focus. Fresh trial. Here comes justice! April 20, 10 a.m. District Court, card room number 02. The court is now in session. The first came here ready, Your Honor. Uh, the defense is, uh, fine. I mean, ready, Your Honor. Mind going blank. Don't panic. Ugh, too late. Your name was Mr. Justice? And this is your first trial? Yes, Your Honor, but I'm fine, really. Are you quite sure? Your voice sounds a bit strained. <clears throat> um, Mr. Gavin? Yes, Your Honor? I was under the impression that you would be heading up in this case. That was my intention, yes. However, a defense attorney must always sedate to his client's wishes. And my client especially requested Mr. Justice. Well, of course he wants justice. But to entrust this case to a greenhorn? Why? 
I do not stricken it when I say you're the best defense attorney in town, Mr. Gavin. Okay, so Gavin's got trial experience. Fine, but does he have charge of steel? Then let's begin. The defendant may enter the courtroom. This is truly an unfortunate turn of events. I'm sorry we had to meet again under these circumstances. Long time no see, Mr. Wright. Let's put the path behind us, shall we? These days, I'm merely Phoenix Wright, piano player. Mr. Wright, how could this have happened? I won't speak of it further then. If the prosecutor would be kind to explain the charges, Mr. Payne? The thing I saw you enter your room as a fresh attorney, and I will see you leave and change. Oh, win, win some pain. So as ever, I see. <clears throat> the crime occurred in the Brass Ball Club, a Russian restaurant. The defendant, Phoenix Wright, took the victim, a customer, and he hit him. Wham! On the head. Smack! Killed him cold. Hmm. A customer at the restaurant, you say? And the defendant you say he was... The pianist for the club, it seems. Phoenix Wright? A pianist? This is the weapon that took the victim's life. A bottle of grape juice. Grape juice is apparently our defendant's favorite drink of choice. The courtroom accepts the deadly bottle's evidence. Deadly bottle added to the court record. Something to note, Justice. All evidence in the file is filed in the court record. Make a practice of checking it frequently. The court record. Right. Ever of that. Use the, use the court record button to look at the evidence so far. I'm confident in your ability to handle this. Right. The court record button. Sounds like it's time for some hands-on action. So, the victim was a customer at this restaurant? But just who was this, uh, Sahidi Smith fellow? We believe he was a traveler, Your Honor. A traveler? According to his passport, he'd been out of the country for a number of years. He only returned to this country recently, though his plans, place of residence is unclear. And he had some sort of connection with the defendant? That, too, is unclear at present, Your Honor. We believe the first met at the Brass Bowl Club on the night of crime. If they had only just met, then why murder? Perhaps the victim shall slide the de defendant's piano blowing? That doesn't appear to have been the case. No, the motive had nothing to do with the defendant's lack of playing skill. Unless, not piano playing. I'll let this photo explain what I mean. <coughs> As we can see, a game of poker was in progress at the scene of crime. Wait a second. Isn't poker gambling? That's a crime in its and out of itself. Indeed, it appears our defendant has fallen to become the basest sort of criminal. It is true that the defendant was engaged in a game of poker with the victim. Yet, it was only that, a game, in the purest sense, a competition, Your Honor. A competition? Yes, a test of which, a slight clash of passions. Only the cards, the backs rather than blue, play. No, it's final outcome. Uh, come again? The cards on the table had blue backs, Your Honor. I believe the defense was waxing poetic in an attempt to mystify those present and imprison women. It will be a pleasure of business here then to find out more about this fatal game of cards. Very well, defendant. You will testify to the court about the poker competition held the night of the crime. My pleasure. This is it. My first draw. Here goes nothing. I'm a pianist by trade, yet I can hardly play at all. My real job is to take on the interested customers over at the poker table. The room where we play and the competition in, there are the club's main attractions. The rules are simple. We play a game of poker using two decks of cards. That is all. A game. And our customers are happy. Hmm. A pianist who can't play piano? It is a defense attorney who can't defend. Very well. The defense may begin cross-examination. Right, Your Honor. 
My first cross examination. Don't blow it. Are you all right? You're sweating bullets. Bullets? Where? Just for your speech, Justice. Your voice sounds strained and raspy too. My brain feels so strained and raspy, sir. You've watched me perform cross examinations many times. Though you've never done one yourself, have you? Care for a refresher? What to do? Should I ask Miss Gam for a refresher course in cross examination? No need for help here, sir. I think I got this one covered. I think you better do more than think. You know it, or you don't. I'm fine. The cards of steel are ready for battle. My weapons press and pres present. Find any inconsistencies and light in the testimony and reveal them to the court. Then, your cross examination. Learn it, know it, do it. Inconsistencies, lies, Phoenix right? As if Phoenix right would never lie, and it's up to me to prove it. The firms might begin the cross examination. The competition.